it's a uh, antenna installation for uh, LT LTE antenna which is going to give him uh, an internet connection inside the house because he's got no um, uh, he's got a bad phone line into the house that gives him a speed of up to three meg I think from BT so this is going to give him between 40 and 60 meg inside so we've clipped the cable to the underside of the soffit and fascia and took it to the highest point that we can get it and then that then is antenna is pointing at the mast which is over this direction uh, where the bridge is there that's where the Vodafone mast is so we're going to point that directly at that <coughs> then uh, we should get a solid 40 to 60 meg inside from the sim card give you an idea of how high this is right so there's our external grade cat 5e and this is your LTE antenna and the uh, bracket that we've aluminium bracket that we put on so you can see on the back there we've got the bars as we've pointed it in that direction it's gone down a bar so that gives us an indication of where the tower is when the bars are full this has got a dual SIM card slot inside it and then it's got this is power over ethernet so we can run a long cable from inside the house if we were using a coaxial cable you're limited to about five meters on their uh, antennas so this antenna is a better solution more installation grade uh, solution this because we can run a 50 meter cat 5 cable cat 6 uh, cable to this while the building was being built an extension and then we can put the antenna or well, this antenna high up on the roof so we're getting the best signal whereas at the minute he's running one inside next to the window um, and he's not getting a very good reliable speed from his sim card router inside so this is a much better solution for a much better signal a much better speed for the internet if you're in a rural area with no telephone line or a poor telephone line connection this is the kind of height that he needs to be to be getting a good signal i don't know if you can see there but there's a i think it's called hemley mast that's probably what we're pointing at and we've got a clear line of sight of that over the top of the bridge so we've got a total clear line of sight, no buildings in the way, no trees or anything, so we should be getting the strongest signal. And then also you can buy another one of these antennas uh, that is for a very, very poor signal area. Um, if there's no mast within 50 miles away, they've got a stronger antenna for that. So this is, this is when you're in a good signal area. If you struggle with internet speeds at home, it might be that you live in a rural area, it might be the fact that the telephone company can't provide you a line or can't the, the line isn't fast enough this is a very good option or potentially a good option for you you can check the signal strength on uh, mast finders on on your apps on apps on your phone so that's easy enough to do to make sure that you've got a strong enough signal in the area to be able to do this and as you can see the sim cards running an awful lot of equipment so it's running music, it's running cinema room, it's running heat controls, it's doing, it's doing absolutely everything in the house and it's doing it absolutely fine. As long as you've got a good, good control system, good network switches and good uh, routers. If you're trying to do it with a cheap router that a company has provided you with, it's probably not gonna, it's not gonna succeed. Check out the blog on our website for more detailed information or if you would like to contact us about any this kind of installation, all our contact details are on the website.